Hi guys. It is a frosty night here in the end times. Up here in uh, West Bumblefuck, New York at Sandy's house. Uh, it is a, good lord, what is it, a Monday night? <coughs> what is that, January 9th, 2023, we are already at. And uh, so anyway, guys. I have been wrestling with a little ham bone conundrum and I just need to, uh, before I do something rash, I just need to have a private little chat with what is left of my inner sanctum. Which, uh, how many people are left in the ham bone inner sanctum? Anyway, I, I, this is why I don't do videos when I'm high. Uh, probably, how many, I bet I haven't done 10 videos stoned uh, out of my fucking head uh, since I started this damn thing. So anyway, we will see if I air this video tomorrow. <coughs> so, <coughs> what I am trying to figure out is should Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles out Hambone Little Tail at Humpty Dumpty Tribe or not. Because <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm going, to, if, if Sam Mitchell's going to out Hambone Little Tail, this is really the time to do it. Uh, Sandy agrees with me on this that, uh, you know, uh, so only my inner sanctum will appreciate. Uh, the level of, of ironic angst I am feeling right now uh, as does Sam Mitchell admit the existence of Hambone Little Tail in polite company? Uh, <laughs> well, y y you know, uh, th 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 there's so much crazy shit from the universe, all of these little whispers telling me that if I'm going to do it, I need to do it, like, like, soon. All right. Uh, and I, I, I think probably that the strongest uh, hit I've gotten from the universe, obviously, is this whole crazy shit with that soft white underbelly uh, interview that Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles had with Mark at Soft White Underbelly. And, you know, when the moment that Mark uh, said he wanted to interview me, uh, I immediately went and ripped Humpty Dumpty Tribe uh, off the air, as you guys recall, when uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe suddenly went dark because I was I, I was so terrified. That little eco pussy, Sam Mitchell, was so fucking terrified that that, that fucking you know that loud mouth prick, uh, Hambone Little Tail, uh, would be outed to Mark. You know that one of the ass licking toadies or one of my fucking trolls. Uh, Sat 12 or somebody, uh, you know, would have tried to have that uh, have that interview derailed. So out of fear, acting out of fear, Hambone Little Tail pulled down fucking Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and, and, and you better believe uh, the, the the goddamn talking to I had myself. When I pulled down Humpty Dumpty Tribe because uh, the, the ego of Sam Mitchell, you know, didn't want any threat to that. So anyway, uh, I, I'm, I'm already, you know, sitting there. So Mark, uh, you know, Mark, he only knows me. I mean, he didn't know me at all. You know, he knew me as Sam Mitchell. Uh, I said, I'm a doomer. And he really didn't ask many questions. He just said, uh, you know, I've always wanted an interview with Doomer. So it, as I said in that, in, in that thing that I did with Elliot on Collapse Chronicles a couple of days ago, 
uh, the, you know, the story, if you missed that, uh, that video I put out on Collapse Chronicles, you know, as I was saying. So, you, you know, Sam Mitchell arrives out there in Skid Row and this, and, and I'm getting ready to go sit down on the damn stool and, and have my, you know, my 40 minutes of fame. And we get into this little thing and it's like, you know, I had 30 seconds when, you know, uh, when the rubber was against the road. And I'm getting, and, and, and I had to make this choice right then and there. Who was Mark getting ready to interview? Was he getting ready to interview that little eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles, or was he ready uh, to, to let uh, Hambo Little Tail rip? So, guess who the fuck he interviewed? It, it, obviously, anyone who listened to that fucking thing, which, good lord, I'm ready to, I'm getting ready to hit 300,000 views on that, uh, on that guy, 300,000 views, I'll be lucky to get 300 views on this video, uh, it, you know, I've gotten almost 3,000 new subscribers over there, uh, at Collapse Chronicles, and, they have never heard uh, of Hambone Little Tail and Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I, you know, yesterday I, I did my rant at Collapse Chronicles and I wore my Humpty Dumpty t-shirt instead of my sorry uh, we're fucked t-shirt. I wore my Humpty Dumpty Tribe t-shirt. This is a subtle hint to see if one person, you, you know, uh, one of my new 3,000 subscribers were going to ask, you know, what is this Humpty Dumpty thing? Not one fucking comment, uh, email, nothing from anybody. So, the, the, but, but the bottom line is this, is that all of those people watching Sam Mitchell from Collapse Chronicles in that interview who had never heard of me, they weren't listening to that little eco-pussy Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles. They were listening to Hambone Little Tail. Uh, I, I, the only line I drew, there, 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 there was one term I edited out of that interview, and you probably know what it is. And that is the term eco Nazi. That, uh, you know, there, there, there's a certain line uh, that, that, that in that interview, you, you know, I did drift over, of course, to the Doomer and the Normie and the clueless fucking moron and everything. But I, you know, I came right up to saying I'm a fucking eco-Nazi who believes in the final solution. The final solution being the fucking extinction of the human race. Could you imagine if I had gotten... <laughs> it, with all the trouble I'm in over there, if I had gotten up and uh, on soft white underbelly, I mean, if Sam Mitchell and, and said, yeah, I'm a fucking eco-Nazi and, and I believe in the final solution uh, that we need fucking humans to go. Uh, <laughs> it, it, anyway, that, that's the one line I drew. But, the, but for all intents and purposes, who you're hearing on that fucking uh, interview, the, you know, my 40 minutes of uh, of fame uh, after 14 years of doing this shit is me. It ain't Sam Mitchell, but 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 these you know these 3,000 new subscribers who are subscribing to uh, Sam Mitchell or Collapse Chronicles. They you know they don't know the fucking difference. They're subscribing to that guy who was interviewed at Soft White Hunt Underbelly, who was Hambone Little Tail, not Sam Mitchell, and, and uh, so they don't give a fuck. So now, uh, it, 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 I'm sitting here, I said, okay, well, I got these 3,000 new subscribers. Uh, it, this video at Mark's is going to be out there. Uh, it, and and who, who is fucking getting the new subs? Are you following me? It's, it, it's fucking, where the hell is Humpty Dumpty Drive's new sub? So anyway, uh, that was the, you know, the night, and I just, uh, 
<laughs> I mean, this is a really big critical moment in my life. You know, I had to decide. Uh, I had about 30 seconds to decide who the fuck am I bringing out to potentially 300,000 people. That little eco pussy or, or hand by little tail. Hand by little tail, got the fucking boat, no hands down. And uh, so anyway, now I'm sitting here trying to decide. And this is where I need your advice. Do I let people know, let uh, people who subscribe to Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, am I going to be honest about Humpty Dumpty Tribe and say, guys, uh, you, you, you know, uh, I do have another YouTube channel. And just in case you have any interest, you know, I will do some Sam Mitchell eco pussy uh, disclaimer, disowning ham hambo little tail and all of that shit. Uh, but this would be the time, uh, you, you know, the time to do it. Like, like when I'm starting this book, uh, particularly sitting here, and, and, and there's a lot of fucking work, guys. Uh, reading a 250-page book uh, out loud, uh, and it looks like 44 people are, are, are reading it, but, but obviously uh, it would get some more readers towards, uh, towards that damn book of mine uh, that I wrote in 2009, and I think about 200 people on the planet uh, have ever read it. So... This is when uh, I, I need to, uh... so what do I do, guys? Do I, do I pull the handbone trigger or not? And, you know, fuck them. You know, I'm thinking, okay, uh, I, I got these 3,000 new subscribers. If 500 of them, you know, come over here to, to a Humpty Dumpty tribe and, and, and hear some tranny rant or, or whatever, uh, if, if anything, if any of those new subscribers are so offended by Hambone Littletail over wh whoever that guy was that was being interviewed at Salt White Underbelly and, and, and they fucking run off, well, uh, I don't think they're ready to handle what's coming down the pike anyway. Uh, what a big fucking loss. Uh, you know, what's the big risk on that? But of course, I mean, for, for the two or three of you uh, who are students of Carlos Castaneda, it will uh, appreciate the, the last chapter of this story. There, there might be one or two people who understand what just happened in my life. Uh, in, in the last month, a, a, a major event happened in my life for about the fourth time, maybe. Uh, what happened for anybody who knows anything about the art of stalking? The Carlos Castaneda, Don Juan Matus, uh, version of the art of stalking. So anyway, I am a stalker. So of course, people who don't understand what the word stalker means from Castaneda is, is already running off. I, I can see the quote being pulled out. I am a stalker. Uh, so we're, folks are dreamers or stalkers. And, and I am a stalker. Uh, in, in the in the worldview of uh, Carlos Castaneda and Don Juan Matus, and again, I I'm not getting off on a, on a ten hour Castaneda thing, but basically, the way oversimplification of uh, what's going down here is a stalker. What you do when you're at a spiritual impasse at your in your life, I guess. Again, I'm being way oversimplifying here. You choose a role to play. And you get into that role. And 
over time, the more and more you practice the art of getting into that role, the more the role you're playing gets mixed up with, with who you are. Like, you know, like, you know, I used to be when in, in 2009, when I went down there to Peru, what I was doing is I had gotten to the point where I couldn't tell the difference anymore between Sam Mitchell, real estate agent, and uh, you know that that I that I had gotten into that role so heavily as a real estate and uh, agent and a house flipper that I honestly did not know who the real Sam Mitchell was. And so this is the one of the many reasons that I met Terrence McKenna at the same time that I morphed. And so I was no longer a, a successful real estate agent. So I assigned a new role to myself. Hambone Little Tail, uh, environmental alarmist, doomsday prophet and the chronicler of the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization. I, I, I spoke that role out to the universe and it all started with, the, with me writing this book, Peruvian Plunge. Well, it actually started about six months before then, but that's when, that's when I was figuring out this new role for myself which has been playing out over the last 14 years. And uh, more and more people uh, have been telling me, how many times have I heard people hambone? We, we hear a lot of, we, we hear a lot more hambone seeping into Sam Mitchell than the other way around. And so here, here I am in the end of 14 years, guys, and I have, uh, I have perfected the art of stalking I don't know who the fuck I am anymore. I, I really don't. And uh, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What I, I mean, does, does this mean now, you know, it's been 14 years. Uh, it's been a 14 year cycle. Uh, and so now, I don't know if uh, if the universe is telling me I need to come up with a new role. If Sam Mitchell needs to just, uh, you know, he's done what he started out to do 14 years ago. And you're seeing it uh, on that interview on Soft White Underbelly. That was me. That's 14 years, 14 years <laughs> of, uh, uh, of hard work uh, going, going into that. And, and now, you know, what do I do? Either, either I take the show on the road and aim for Joe Rogan or anyway, guys, uh, I just uh, thought a, a, a few of you who understand uh, a little bit about Carlos Castaneda and the art of stalking would know exactly what I was just talking about just then. But anyway, bottom line, yes or no, does Sam Mitchell rat out Hambone Little Tail? Let the voting begin. Bye, guys.